My name is Alicia, and I'm a singer, dancer, songwriter, performer. Probably the biggest performance I ever had, I was in grade four, and I sang, I remember, at my school for a Remembrance Day, and I was really, really nervous for the performance because there's one thing to sing on stage and perform in front of people, which I always love to do, but in front of your classmates at that age, you just get the butterflies, right? We did a really good job, and it ended up being good. So from then on out, I was performing in all the talent shows. I'm obsessed with high heels. I love the way they look. I feel like I was born wearing high heels. I'm so totally comfortable wearing them, but there are those pairs that you step foot out of the house, and I call them the 20-minute shoes, but some of them are even less than that. Recently, I walked out of my house, and I stepped into my manager's car, and I realized this should not be going down right now. I should not be wearing these shoes. But they're really, really high, like, probably this high, a big, big platform, and they have spikes all over them. They're pretty hot shoes. There's something very peaceful and exhilarating at the same time about knowing that you're living exactly how you want to be living, and you're pursuing the dream that you've had since you were a little girl. Coming out of high school, people would say, oh, what are your plans? Where are you going? What do you want to do? And when I would tell them that I wanted to pursue my singing career, I would get the looks, like I had 17 heads. But I tried not to listen to it, because I knew, you know, if I, if I believe in what I want, and I define a clear path, and I don't stray from that, I think I'll eventually get to where I want to be. Everything is scary about being in the music industry. I mean, it's a very risky business, um, but you can't live that way. You can't live consuming yourself with the thought that it's a risky business. Otherwise, you won't get very far. I mean, in a sense, you have to be very, very brave and very fearless because if you aren't, you're inhibiting yourself. I will never apologize for taking the reins in my own life because at the end of the day, you're the only thing that stands in the way of you and what you want. And I hold myself responsible first and foremost. It's very human to be afraid, but at the same time, you're not doing yourself any favors because then you're just holding yourself back from what you're truly capable of.